everyone, in this lecture, we are going to learn how to install extra tools that are needed for Metaplex Candy to work on an Apple M1 computer. So if you have any other computer, then you don't have to follow these steps. This is only for the newer Apple computers that use the M1 chip instead of the Intel chip. And you can check what chip you have by going to the top left hand corner of your computer and selecting about this Mac and reading what chip you have. So we're going to install extra tools with Homebrew. So of course you have to have Homebrew installed. Then join me in your terminal application and use the following command. We're going to be installing several extra packages for Metaplex Candy to work on the Apple M1 computer. And we'll discuss what each of these packages are. So hit enter and that is going to install these packages. I'm getting some messages, some warnings that these packages are already installed on my computer and up to date, so I can reinstall them if I'd like, but on my end I already have a lot of them, but likely you will not have these packages, so you have to install them. Then you should get a message that the installation and the dependencies have completed. If you get any error messages, anything in red, then read that carefully and fix it. If you get any recommendations for extra steps, then follow those extra steps. Next, let's discuss those packages that we just installed. What are they? The main thing that you have to know is that these packages are there to enable Metaplex Candy on the Apple M1 computers. You don't have to understand all these packages in depth and how they're used. They're just helper packages. The first one was PKG config, package configuration. This is a helper tool used when compiling applications and libraries. The second package was Cairo. This is a vector graphics library with cross-device output support. We also installed Pango. This is a framework for layout and rendering of text. We also installed libpng, a library for manipulating PNG images. We also installed JPEG, an image manipulation library for JPEGs. We also installed GIF lib, a library and utilities for processing GIFs. So as you can imagine, NFTs come in different file types, so that's why we install extra tools so that all those file types can work. And so that Metaplex Candy itself and its configuration can work. We also installed the libr svg, a library to render svg files using Cairo as a rendering engine. For example, to render svgs to surfaces. All right, so that is how you can install extra tools. So now Metaplex Candy will work on an Apple M1 computer. Coming up next, we're going to learn how we can install Metaplex and Candy Machine. So don't miss the next lecture. If you liked this video, then go to training.mammothinteractive.com. We have tons more content on blockchain, web development, machine learning, and much more. We also have a membership for just $19 a month where you can get access to our 372 course bundle and counting.